My name's Andrew Sims, I'm the Senior Web Developer at the Career Service here at the, um, Pete's got. I'm responsible for putting together a, a lot of the websites that we've got. I also do a lot of the database integration. Uh, the, the reason I work so I've been here for about eight years, so I, I now have systems to work because I've built them, but Pete, poor Pete's only had by the three months to get That's quite hard to say. Uh, for, I got um, computer to the point where I decided that I actually wanted to do it full time. So I looked around for ways of doing um, ended up doing that came out of that scene. I wanted to work in computing and the internet at that point was just taking off. So I, did, I looked around for something that would let me you know, essentially work on the internet. So um, your first degree did you, um, was it related? It was management with web. Oh, uh, right. did this, what, this was actually in the days before there was a World Wide Web. Oh, okay. I realised that yeah, actually I, I didn't want to be a manager at all. It wasn't. I was doing agency um, oh, okay. in the end. Um, I got it through now. I think it was computer from job in. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and they were having problems at that point finding qualified uh, so they got a job uh, to be around for the company in Leeds. Okay. Um, the process was very, very infrequent. Uh, we went over um, around and we, there was no sort of um, tests or anything, it was just um, interviews. Okay. Was... The hours were good, I think it was standard 9 to 5, work from home, it was um, without getting quite a lot of very complicated software installed, so you, you couldn't really do it. Um, there was the odd the weekend, had to go into the uh, um, that wasn't expected regularly. Oh, okay. um, the conditions were, there was a lot of pressure in those days. Um, I was working for their news feeds um, to, to anyone in the UK, you'd buy them essentially. Um, so there's, oh. to get, if you, things were late, then you'd lose money. In terms of Okay. And for a senior level, what kind of student expect? I uh, suspect students pulling but up. Um, you could probably expect, you know, two and a half, three times that much. From home, if there's things that need doing quickly, um, or when you need to do something because, for half, you know, the system okay. changes, so it's not going to inconvenience as many people. Okay. We're looking for somebody who could actually demonstrate hands-on ability of what they could do. Um, we were in as we frankly look at who are good enough to code in any one web language can generally transfer that skills quite quickly and anybody who actually knew what they were talking about um, and could impress us with what they could do. Okay. Um, the challenges that we found, um, we've got quite a clear demarcation in the career service between the IT staff and the career staff in the there are various points. X and T points you don't really cross us from the mm. So a lot of the we don't well involve explaining to non technical time people exactly uh, what the internet can do for them, how they can go about things, having to explain why things aren't possible, um, or explain that if they want something we will have to do it in a particular way because that's the way the technology works. I've been working in IT since 1997. Okay. Um, I've been at the university for just eight, eight years now. I was uh, and it was a senior web developer um, when we took on um, another web developer in the career service, okay. just as a way of distinguishing the fact that, you know, I've been there longer. Oh, okay. Um, I think, again, it comes back to what I was saying a little earlier, that the best thing people can do is show a site that they can do. The fact that um, if you, you can write it, a web HP in Java, um, JavaScript, Web 2.0, um, and you can show that you can show your skills to potential employers. It doesn't have to be for anything particularly serious. You know, if you've got a friend that runs a band, or you just want to show off your DVD collection or something like that, that's great. Uh, and people don't. It's not so much the ability matter; it's the fact that they're able to do it. Apart from the, the yes, it's always going to be there. I think um, it's probably going to start changing in the next few years as more and more automated tools come in mm. to do a lot of the more routine tasks. But there was always going to be a demand for people who actually know how to get under the bonnet of this sort of thing. Um, a lot of people will be quite happy to get off-the-shelf solutions for what they're looking for, but there's going to be an awful lot of people out there as well who want to do their own customizations. Okay.